Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out and where I'm trying to get my channel to be. OK, so I want to talk to you about something which has really been affecting me over the past couple of months. And that is stop trying to make everything perfect in this life because you could actually be causing yourself harm. And unfortunately, I have... I've been experiencing just that, um, and I really don't mind sharing that with you because my channel is all about honesty and I really love to share everything I can really on my channel, what I go through, and if that can help other people, then fantastic. If I can motivate people to get out of those dark holes or support people in those really dark, horrible, solemn moments, or just give them a little bit of a perk when they're feeling really quite flat and they don't necessarily know what to do in life. So for me, I am very, very guilty of striving for the very, very best and sometimes at the detriment of my own health. Yeah, and sadly that's been happening. So since about May, one of the first things I've started to notice about my health is that I've been starting to lose quite a lot of hair. But we're not necessarily going to be talking about that today because other than that, what I've been noticing a lot more is issues with my digestive system, lots and lots of uh, reflux, sort of indigestion, like a nervousness in my stomach quite a lot all the time. Um, I get very, very stressed out to the point where sometimes I get a bit of an episode where I can bend or I can move on quickly um, and it can set off the vertigo, which I suffer with quite badly. And that's due to a hearing condition, which I have. Um, but stress aggravates it and stress makes it more. So you may think, what things do I have to stress me out? Um, well, number one, job. Career-wise, I've been really working hard um, at getting in a career where I want it to be. I work in finance and accountancy. Um, it's really quite stressful. It's quite strenuous. Um, it's a lot to think about all the time. And of course, I've been really working hard towards a promotion. And unfortunately, um, that hasn't gone quite well. I have been promoted, but it's not kind of what it's been made out to be. And you could say I was kind of led something else by uh, my management team, which, of course, you can well imagine has given me a whole host of stress and uh, anxiety and one thing or another and really just kind of taking its toll. But of course, before I knew this, um, I battle on a day to day basis with the loss of my grandmother. And that's been really, really very difficult. Um, some moments I'm fine and I'm quite composed with things and I, I've got it together. And then another moment I haven't. And I've been going through quite a few months of difficulty with that. And that really does stress me out. Um, to the point where it makes my head feel almost quite strange as though kind of that it it's all a bit too much and as well as work and as well as personal health problems and things in the background um so that's just a bit of a snippet what's been going on with me but lots and it has honestly felt like at times that when there's so much going on it's almost like that i could really just completely run away from life completely you may think that often on my clips i'm the most composed person stress-free person in the world but i'm actually the opposite i just like to try and think that it doesn't show through to other people i love to be the person to help others i love to be the person to support and to be the first point of call to be able to help somebody whether that be could be financially, could be could be sort of job related, could be if you had a bunch of paperwork and you didn't know how to do it, I'd love to help. Or it could be that was obviously the simple end of the spectrum, or it could be that you need a helping hand to get you through something. That could be me. Um, and I like to think that I'm there all the time, particularly for my family and for everybody I know, really, quite honestly with you. So, yeah, um, that's me. And of course, that takes a bit of a toll as well, but I don't like to show it. But yeah, things have been happening to me. And of course, going back to what this clip is all about, striving, striving for perfection. Um, I have been doing that for quite a while, striving for perfection, which I am very quickly starting to realise in this life that nothing is perfect. And I think if we can understand that, if we can live that, and if we can acknowledge that, then that is half of the battle. But believe you me, that is not easy. I have been working towards where I wanted my career to be in this amazing kind of position. Um, and of course, things haven't gone quite well. My health hasn't gone quite well. Um, I've had a lot of problems. And actually, just this weekend gone, I have experienced a seizure event, um, which was I'm not really too sure what was brought on. I'm not feeling my best at the moment, I have to admit. Um, that was pretty damn scary, I have to admit, and I don't, I don't remember a lot of it. It's now Monday, um, and that happened That happened Saturday, Saturday evening. Sa yesterday I was absolutely floored. Um, I really wasn't able to do very much at all, apart from being led down. And today I'm feeling a lot 
better, a lot more like myself. I'm back on my vertigo medication, um, and one thing another, so that's giving you a bit of a snippet there, and that's all about stressing. Stressing over coursework and stressing, because I do a lot of qualifications, so I'm learning from home and distant learning approach too. Career, I've been very, that's just broken me, that to be honest, I almost feel cheated by somebody that has pushed me in this role just to help somebody else get to where they want to be, but yet it's just with me, it's made me feel like, what the hell for you type thing. Um, so that's got me. And then, of course, today being the Queen's funeral here in this part of the world, and of course across the world, I know that's got a lot of people's emotions and that's really affected a lot of people. And for me, it's it's a very sad day. Absolutely, it's a very sad day. Um, and, it, and it just brings so much back about my nan and her funeral and how what we went through of her and yeah it's it's tough it really really is tough um so all of those things going on as well but you know what striving for perfection it's dangerous so just be careful and do you know what you could end up doing yourself harm you really really can and i think i'm on that cusp to be quite honest with you i think your 20s i'm 29 now your 20s there's a lot of pressure i think from society that you must be in a relationship by a certain time you must be settling down having that family at a certain time or to be successful you must earn a certain amount or you must be in a certain role or you must own a certain do you know what I mean something and those pressures are detrimental and when you're striving for that success and that whatever is success for somebody which of course is different for us all it is dangerous and if you're not careful you can start to do yourself harm and I am suffering the effects of stress probably right now and um yeah, I mean, just from stress, I have tinnitus, which absolutely drives me crazy at times. Um, I get very, very low mood. And of course, that's all from setting those goals in life, those so ceiling high goals, which, to be quite honest with you, most of the time are probably unreachable. And yet having that knock so often where you can't quite get there or you can't quite get there because life just not working out the way you wanted it to. And let's be honest, how often does it? You can find yourself getting lower and lower and lower and you know that's been me for a couple of months now so i'm working hard on getting through that um i'm working hard at being a little bit more stronger to it a little bit more resilient to it but unfortunately at the moment i'm facing the physical effects of it as well so please from the bottom of my heart to yours just be really really careful that striving perfection it is dangerous and it can be detrimental to you, your well-being, your emotional health, your physical health. Um, and I'm in the middle of all of that at the moment. And of course, the catalyst of it is, is that you just want to achieve your very best. And I think because of the years I've had taken off me through health problems and one thing or another, which will never, ever define me, by the way, it will only make me stronger. And then, of course, losing my nan, this has all made me feel I need to I need to hurry up. I need to catch catch up with everybody else because I've not achieved those things. I don't have the, the amazing, beautiful wife, the relationship, the home, the children, and everything just yet. Even what my other brothers and all that do. It's just I'm not there yet because all these things have gone on. And it's just like. Even now, I can feel myself getting hyped up about it, anxious about it, and it's and it's really, really dangerous. And I'm trying not to. What am I trying to try and break this? So I've had an appointment with my family doctor. And he was really, very good at giving me a lot of things to talk about and possibly suggesting some talking therapy. Um, medication is not something I wish to try. However, I have tried a hypo supplement with St. John's Wort, and that is very, very helpful at kind of just almost taking taking everything down a tone. It always makes me feel a little bit more, and whether or not this is like a placebo effect, I'm not too sure. Um, but it's almost like that I can cope with things. Um, but of course, I don't want there to have to be a medication in the loop just for me to be able to feel that I can handle everything. Because I can, we're strong individuals, we're strong people in this life. Um, I have incredible parents, I have an incredible support network, which is my mum, to be honest, my mum and my dad. I have amazing brothers and sister-in-law and nieces and nephews, but there are a few select few who I can share things with and who I do share things with and of course that's my best friend my mum and my best friend my father as well. Nan was everything to me, my mum's mum um, and I would sit and talk to her for hours about things and we would help each other through. Um, having a very, uh, very amazing bond with my mum and with my nan and sometimes years ago just being in the presence of them it was very very special, very special so I'm absolutely privileged to have the people in my life which I do. Um, my nan taught me so very much and 
things which she always taught me was, number one, always look your best. Number two, carry on, keep going. Number three, family is everything. Do you know what? She taught me so much. She really, really did. And it breaks my heart that she's not here. And I feel really, really low about that at the moment as well. Um, and you know, perhaps that's not striving for everything. That's just loving somebody, isn't it? So much. But yes, yeah, she did. She taught me so much in this life that always look your best. Always be ready. Keep going. Family is absolutely everything. And work hard. Those are the things she taught me, amongst other things. And I'm truly as an angel. I often say to myself that she's looking down over me and she's guiding me, and I truly do believe she is. But honestly, striving for success in this life, honestly, I could just lie down and I could close my eyes for so long and just hopefully wake up that it would all be solved and, and I'd be where I wanted to be and the health problems would be gone and I wouldn't have to worry about anything like that. Not easy as that, is it? really not. But anyway, take great care. And you know what? Striving for that perfection is dangerous, so just go careful. If you'd like to leave me a comment down below, if you'd like to leave me absolutely anything, I will get back to you as quick as I can. From my heart to yours, take great care. God bless, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.